is Rebecca Arena, and we are here on Behind the Buzz. Joining us today is Guy from Pepper. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Please let us know a little bit about the company. Yeah, so we're, we're really passionate about esports. It's an industry that is growing and moving very quickly. And what we've seen is there's a lot of challenges for uh, venues and event spaces that are looking to run esports tournaments. So as, you know, as a gamer myself and for all the other gamers out there, I can go home and play Fortnite or whatever game I like to at home, uh, but I, I don't really have that fun tournament experience. You know, I want to go to an event space, sit down with you know, dozens of other people and actually compete in a tournament. And that's a, it's quite hard to run that type of event. And so at Pepper, we have built a leading, uh, very exciting platform that allows venues and event spaces to very easily run and host their own events. And so we handle everything from the registration, creating the event, promoting it, uh, to uh, some really interesting technology behind score tracking and automatically getting scores out of the games. Uh, to live leaderboards, to everything you could need to run and host a really exciting esports event. And what really differentiates Pepper from the other companies? So, uh, good question. There's obviously companies out there that are uh, building esports platforms. What I think really differentiates us is we provide a completely turnkey solution for a venue of any size to run all of their operations as far as it comes to actually running esports events. So everything from that player registration, uh, players discovering the events, to players showing up, the, our software will automatically tell them what uh, computer they're going to sit at, they'll load into the game, they'll have information about their tournament right there on screen, uh, they'll play the tournament, all of this tracking will be done, all the live leaderboards will automatically be updated, they get a way better experience than what they would traditionally have uh, without using our technology. Uh, at, the, at the end of the event, we'll also handle the payouts and everything. So there's no software out there today that allows events to run uh, such an exciting tournament, give that top tier player experience uh, without using our software. So you would say it really uncomplicates the whole process? Yeah, we do a lot of very complicated things internally that okay. mean that, uh, yeah, they can run an event with very little complexity and Amazing. very little overhead as well. You can have just a couple of people at the event logging in. Uh, they have a, an access to our uh, admin panel for tournaments and they can run everything from there. They don't even need to leave their seat. It's all remote. So gaming is really growing. How do you see it kind of expanding in the next couple of months, maybe even the next year? Yeah, so what we're seeing is obviously um, I think that the, the players, the gamers have, all, have always been there. Uh, they're now just becoming more mainstream. So, right. you know, people growing up, you know, a lot of people game, I used to game myself, but I was sort of limited to either LAN parties or gaming with friends. It wasn't big event spaces or tournaments I could go to. So all that's really happening is the industry is now opening up and providing uh, these big event spaces, these exciting tournaments with these multi-million dollar prize pools that players can actually go and compete in. Uh, and I think we're going to see that grow tremendously. And my big belief and what I think we're seeing in the industry is what drives the size of an industry is how many people are participating in that industry, how many people are watching it. And as more and more people follow and watch and engage with esports, that industry is going to continue to grow and it's going to grow at a very, very fast pace. Any exciting news that's coming up that maybe investors can kind of take a look at? Yeah, so with Pepper, there's two very exciting things that we're working on. Uh, one is uh, we're working very closely and we're, we're, we're announcing uh, a big partnership with another Vancouver company called The Gaming Stadium. They're a live venue. Uh, so we're really excited that we have an LOI in place with them. It's going to mean that uh, Pepper is going to be providing and supporting all of their software infrastructure. And along with TGS, we're going to take Pepper into uh, a number of new venues that are opening up over uh, the next few months. Uh, it's really exciting for us as a software platform, an eSports software platform, to be partnering with such a strong uh, presence in the actual venue space. So we're really excited about this partnership with the gaming stadium. Uh, and secondly, we're also going to be doing a, uh, a public listing early next year onto the TSXV, onto the Venture Exchange. Uh, so that's something that we're very excited about. Uh, you know, we feel that the timing's right for us. We've been really building and growing our technology over the last 12 months. 
uh, and the last, uh, more recently, we've been focusing on growing our sales and revenue uh, and actually rolling out to our B2B customers. And so by January, February next year, we're going to be in a, a really, really strong position to start to uh, get our listing application ready. And our goal is to be listed by March of uh, next year. It looks like we have a lot to look out for for Pepper in the coming months. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. And this is Rebecca with Behind the Buzz. Thank you.